G'day folks, here's a quick video just to keep you up to date on natural gas and a couple of other interesting things today. Let's have a quick look at this and I'll go through some of these positions. So we're long on natural gas, we try to bounce today, we've got that nipple formation that I talked about in the last video. Let's go and have a look at the 4 hour chart, I'm going super fast. Just trying to bounce, there's the weekend rollover gap coming up, up, up. There's a 20 period moving average on the 4 hour, we need to break above there and close above there, we haven't done so just yet. But looking a bit better now, we're getting this U-shaped formation just trying to form. Doesn't mean we can't get lower. Have a look at the previous video. I have linked that at the end of this one too. Just a reminder of the weekly chart. This is what it looks like on the Henry Hub. Remember these two lines. Once again, I'll refer you to the video from yesterday and the day before. I've got rollover on Thursday on my broker's contract on the March futures moving into April. And April's trading just a wee bit above us at the moment. Here's the natural gas April futures. I've taken this from barchart.com. You can see just staggering down, there is the weekend gap. We're holding above this level here at about 1.63 on the April futures. Remember, we're trading at 1.58 on the March futures, so not much of a difference. One final reminder of these two lines. We're at this red line right now. We've got the green line below us. Quickly, let's look at the day chart. You can see we've just touched that red line and the green line's below us. At the moment, just above 1.5, the red line, which is where we got, and then 1.28 on the green line. We'll see how that goes. Sticking with energy, we're short on WTI. That's just beginning to roll over today, which is good news. I'm willing to add into these levels. Once again, I covered this in one of the previous videos just a couple of days ago. That's our short entry position. We're looking for a move down to the bottom of this range through these order blocks and support levels down to the next one, and that's below $64. Gold's just holding above the 100 period moving average. So there's our entry price at about 2.029. We're just about there right now. We've got the 50 period above us, and then we've got to get up to this channel top again and this green line at around about 2,078. Let's see how we go on that. So far, so good. I do like this pattern. It looks quite constructive. We're long on URA. We're not long on UEC yet, but coming down to that trend line, I'm looking at that very closely today. There's yet another article in some of the major financial publications today about the nuclear power surge that's about to happen in Europe. So that will certainly keep a bid under uranium prices. And then quickly, without expanding this open, we're short on NASDAQ from the red arrow. We're short on NVIDIA from the red arrow and long on Tesla from the green arrow. All of these are looking pretty interesting. Massive move down in NVIDIA today. We are reaching some support at the 20 period moving average on NVIDIA. This is the day chart. We've broken down through the trend line and the 20 period moving average on the NASDAQ and that's looking pretty good. Remember these five touches and the last one, the fifth one I drew in red. We're long from pretty much at the top here and as I'm talking, we're forming new daily lows. Have a great trading day everyone, good luck and I'll see you in the next video.